Well, in our health alert tonight, we all love a little caffeine jolt in the morning. Yeah, some of us more than others, right? But the dangers associated with drinking too much caffeine is one country banning the sale of coffee in all of its schools. So we had to bring in Dr. Nandy to talk about South Korea's bold move to keep caffeine away from kids and teachers. Hey, Dr. Nandy, what's the health concern with caffeine and the reality of overdosing? I mean, it's a great question. And listen, I get why coffee is popular. It tastes great and seems to perk up your mind. Even I enjoy a cup of it myself every day. But we should all be careful when it comes to caffeine because it's a stimulant. I'm sure many of you uh, who've had one too many cups have experienced the jitters or even trouble sleeping, but you might not know that if you consume too much on a regular basis, you could possibly end up with stomach ulcers, anxiety, or depression. Now, is it possible to overdose on caffeine? Absolutely yes. It's very rare, but there have been 92 reported deaths. That's right, 92 reported deaths, typically from cardiac arrest when the heart suddenly stops beating. Now, overdoses tend to happen more with dietary supplements and caffeine powder or tablets, especially if someone combines them with energy drinks, coffee, or pop. All right, so why are caffeine powder and supplements more dangerous? That's a good question, Dave. So these tend to have really high levels of caffeine. The FDA advises us to avoid pure and highly concentrated caffeine products because just one teaspoon of powdered, ca powdered caffeine can equal 28 cups of coffee. Whoa. That's a lot. So you know what our dietary guidelines recommend, Dave, is three to five cups of coffee a day, or roughly 400 milligrams of caffeine. So what about kids? Are they more at risk? And you know, as a, as a parent, I'm really concerned about this. The answer is absolutely yes. Kids and young people have a lower tolerance for caffeine, Anne-Marie, and because of this, they have a much higher risk of overdose. Many parents are not aware that caffeine has been linked to harmful effects on kids, which includes their developing neurological and cardiovascular systems. So I don't give my kids any drinks that have caffeine in it and recommend that all parents please, please do the same for their kids as well. And that includes the uh, the soda, right? I mean, uh, absolutely. Yeah. And then they drink the you know the energy drinks with the soda, and it just becomes this huge amount of caffeine that they can't tolerate. Their bodies can't tolerate. Good advice, uh, Dr. Nandy. Thank you. If you have a question or health concern for the doctor, you can email him anytime. Dr. Nandy, wxyz.com, or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.